Hey, what's going on, Dev? Welcome back to App Dev Channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how to build this input animation using just HTML and CSS from scratch, step by step. Basically, it's an input with a lot of CSS effect. See, for example, we are hover over the border, it changes color, and we in focus, a second color enters the scene. And more importantly, we are click inside it, the label goes up left. When the input is empty, it returns to its original position. Let's get started. All right, Dev, let's start really from scratch. Okay, in the beginning, we have to create those two files. Okay, the index.html, our markup, and then our style.css. All right, let's start with our index. Let's start by creating our boilerplate. Let's come to the title and here, let's say whatever we want. Okay, let's say input label animation. And below that, we need a link to connect our markup to our CSS. Okay, let's quick move to the body. Here in the body, let's create our markup. This one is gonna be quite simple, okay. Let's create first our main div that's gonna wrap around everything, okay, with a class of form. And inside this one, we need two things, input and the label. Let's start with the input, okay. The ID is gonna be email and the class form input, okay. And here, let's say out complete off. Okay, and now we're gonna create the second one. Okay, the second element, the, the class is gonna be a form label. Remember that the ID in the form, they must match, okay? And here for the label, let's say email, all right? We have so far all this code, but we don't have idea what you have, okay? So let's click on the go live using live server and you'll see that we have just an input and a label. In the realm of CSS where the little happens, let's start as usual by changing the font, okay? Let's go to the Google Fonts and use this one, the Convergence. Let me just copy this one, copy and paste, and yeah, we just import that. As I always do, we start with a CSS reset, okay, for universal selector, before and after. But before you use this one, I'm gonna show you why we need this, okay? Different browsers like Safari, Mozilla, and Chrome, they have different margin and padding, and it's not always a good thing, okay? As you can see, we have this margin outside here, and this side we have this padding. So let's get rid of the margin with margin zero, okay, padding zero, and for the box sizing by the box. As you can see, it changed a lot. Still it is. Now moving to the body, let's actually use this font here, okay? So let's say font family is gonna be this convergence, and as a fallback plan, let's also use sans serif, okay? in case of you don't have internet or something like that. And the height here, we want that to be 100VH. The layout is gonna be grid. And let's put that right in the middle with just one line of code, okay? Place items center. And yeah, it's right in the middle. Tell me down below in the comments how you do it, okay? And the foot size here, let's say 1.2 rank. Let's also apply a background color, a bluish one. And yeah, our body's almost done. Doing it very simple. We are going from top to the bottom. Okay, so now is the form. The position is gonna be relative. And let's also apply a width of 20 RAM. The position here is relative because we're gonna have some stuff absolute inside of it, okay? Now let's grab the input, okay? The input is gonna be the, have the position of absolute, as I told you before, from top zero and from left zero, okay? And let's give a width of 100% and the height also 100%, okay? Take this full parent. Let's have a border, okay? 
Let's give a color here. E1, E5, E8. Okay. Bottom radius, let's say dot five rain. Make it rounder or the corners. Simple like that. And let me show you. If I type here web dev, you see that we don't have the convergence font. So let's apply it here. Okay. So font family is gonna be inherit. And also the font size, both of them. Okay, font size inherit. And let me type here and show the difference. Web dev. And now everything here is consistent. All right. Let's come down here and also change the color. We want that to be white. All right. And let's get rid of this outline. When outline none. Okay, no outline at all. Let's give a padding of 1.25 ray all the way around. And we don't want a background. Looks like this is different. We had a problem here. I forgot to say that the border is two pixels. And yeah, it's done. As you saw in the beginning, we have two hover effect, one for hover and the load one on the focus. So let's grab the first one, form input hover. The border color here, let's pick a bluish color. Let me show you. Okay, when you hover this one, we have this nice bluish color. And we want a second one where another one for when this is on focus. So form input and this time focus border color and let's grab another bluish but darker color. Okay, it's gonna be 18 FFF. We hover off this one and if you click inside of it we have this darker bluish color. Okay, we hover and now it's in focus. And it's a nice effect. We can make those hover even better if you add a transition. Okay, so let's let's add the transition to all 160 milliseconds easy in. Okay, and let me show you the hover and also the focus much better now. Take a look at this. And here the focus. Yeah, I love it. Now let's deal with this label here. It's hard to read. It's black, black or dark blue. So let's grab the form label. Let's reference it here. The position is gonna be absolute, okay? And from left, we want that to be one RAM. From the top, it's gonna be 0 0.8 RAM, okay? Let's look here for the form. We want to put that right in the middle, so height, let's say 3 RAM, okay? It's right in the middle. We will also, also apply a padding, 0 and 0 0.5 RAM. Let's change the color so we can find it, read it. Okay, now we can see we have that image. And let me show you something. If I click here, you see that the mouse changes, okay? And we don't want that. We want that to be constant. So cursor is going to be text. Let me show you. I hope of this one and the pointer is the same. Let's apply some transition because we're going to have that effect that I showed in the beginning. Okay. So for the top, it's going to be 200 milliseconds is in. We need another one for the left and another one for the font size. This one is going to be the left and the, the font size, okay? We want for the, our animation this label to decrease the size and go to the upper left of the input, okay? And we're going to do that using just CSS, no JavaScript this time, okay? So let's grab the form input. And when this is a focus, we want the form label to have some properties. Okay, it's that simple. We're gonna change the top 
this is going to be from the top minus dot five RAM font size is going to be dot eight RAM and from left is going to be zero dot eight RAM. Let me show you. Okay, we click here and it goes up. Okay, and decrease the font size. It's that simple. But as you can see, we have another issue. They overlap each other. You see the email and the border. So let's fix this issue. Let me know in the comments how you would do that. Okay, there is always more than one way of doing everything. Okay, I change the background color and you click here and it goes up and it looks nice. And believe you or not, we came across with another issue. We have the web dev here. We click outside and then the email goes right on the input and you cannot see our input. So we have to improve this part of the CSS. Going to our markup, let's have a placeholder, nothing here. And let's improve our code here, okay? We want to tell the CSS, let me first show you the problem here. Let's grab the form input and when the placeholder is not showing, meaning there is something inside of it, okay? And we want to have that state. And another thing, when our form input is not on focus, okay? meaning when we click outside so form label and let me see if that's really working i click here let's say web dev okay dev that's all for today i really hope you like it if you like it you know what to do subscribe and you also click that little bell down below so you get notified every time i post a new video Bye bye and I see you in the next one.